My name is Caitlin from Dr. Kevin Pelfrey's lab. I would like to show you what it's like to have an MRI scan. I will show you what a scanner looks and sounds like, how to practice, and what to expect when you come for a scan. If you have any other questions, you can use the contact information at the end of this video. Let's begin. What is MRI? MRI stands for Magnetic Resonance Imaging. An MRI is a large camera that is able to take really cool pictures of your brain. Here's what your pictures might look like. MRI scans take a long time because the camera takes a lot of pictures of your brain. We take these pictures one at a time. Wow, brain pictures are really cool. We'll give you your very own picture of your brain whenever you come in for an MRI scan. Let's talk about what it takes to get a really great picture. In order to take a good picture of a brain, you need to stay very still. Here are two people's brains. Which person stayed very still? That's right. The first picture is blurry because the person moved their head. The second person kept their head still and their picture is much more clear. What will you do inside of the scanner? Inside the scanner, you might watch a movie of your choice, play games, look at pictures, or watch movies that we have made. In order to take pictures of your brain, the scanner makes a lot of noise. These sounds are loud and unusual, so it helps to hear them before you come for your scan. Let's listen to some now. sounds get very loud. Let's hear one more kind of noise. In order to practice for the real scan, we play what's called the statue game. The goal is to lie inside the tunnel very, very still, just like a statue. If you do a good job at staying very, very still, you will win a prize. You may want to practice at home with your mom or dad so that you can do your best. You can also look at the extra section on this DVD and practice with me in your very own home. Sometimes, before you come in, it's also helpful to have in mind what kind of statue you want to be. I like to think about the Statue of Liberty. What do you like to think about? Let's watch what a practice scan looks like. This is how we play the statue game. First, we put in earplugs to protect your ears because the scanner noises are very loud. Part of the statue game requires that you wear certain accessories. You will wear a headband, which makes a noise whenever you move your head. Sometimes you will also wear headphones so you can hear the movie. We play the statue game inside of the tunnel. We will help you lie on your back, making sure your head is closest to the tunnel. We put towels and cool, squishy pillows on either side of your head. These help you keep your head as still as possible, which is the key to winning the statue game. We will make sure you're extra comfortable, so we will prop your legs on a pillow and ask if you want a blanket. Before you are a statue, we attach this special helmet. This helmet has a mirror. You will use this mirror to watch the movie inside of the tunnel. When you're ready to play the game, we will count down and blast off into the tunnel. After the blast off, it's time to be a statue. You'll be able to watch a movie while also listening to scanner noises. Sometimes, you'll also play computer games that we practiced beforehand. But remember, as a statue, you need to stay very, very still. So while it's okay for you to use your hands to play the game, 
you need to make sure to keep your head and your body very still. When the game is over, we will take off the helmet, remove the towels and headband, and help you sit up. Then it's time to pick out your prize. Sometimes we use a machine to record where you look on the screen. It's really difficult to do this when you're wearing contacts, so we ask that everyone come to the scan wearing their actual glasses. We can use these plastic glasses and fit them to your prescription. The real MRI scanner is like a big magnet. That means that before you can enter the scanning room, you need to remove all objects that might be attracted to the scanner so that you can stay safe. These include objects like glasses, jewelry, watches, pens, and coins. You can keep these objects safe in our lockers. Before I can show you the scanner, I need to remove my objects as well. That includes my rings, my glasses, and my cell phone. Now that I'm safe, it's time to go see the magnet. This is the real scanner. This is just like the practice scanner, except that it has a magnetic field and can take really cool pictures of your brain. We have a helmet that is just like the practice scanner with a mirror for you to watch your videos, headphones that you'll wear whenever you're in the scanner to hear the sounds of the movie. We also have a squeeze ball that you'll use if you need to tell us something while the scanner is making its loud noises. There are different controllers for different games, but we use this wand the most often. You can see that there's different colored buttons, and we'll tell you which buttons to press whenever you're here the day of the scan. Whenever the scanner is not making its loud noises, you can talk to us through a microphone which is located within the scanner. You can hear us through the room speakers or through your headphones. I hope you've learned what it's like to have an MRI. If you or your parents have any other questions, feel free to visit our website or use the contact information at the end of this video. There's also an extra section so you can practice the statue game with me right from your very own living room. Again, my name is Caitlin for Dr. Kevin Pelfrey's lab and thank you for watching. Bye!